All right, so for this video of uh, could it work, uh, player this, basically I'm going to list a few fish that I've seen with goldfish uh, that seems really interesting, but I'm, I didn't do enough research yet to know if uh, yes or no they can go. And basically, I, um, for, this, uh, for this video in particular, I'm not really expecting a lot of... Uh, positive response so I'm pretty sure all those fish are uh, either tropical or too aggressive but yeah it, it doesn't hurt to at least ask so the first fish I want to talk about is ram so the reason why I include ram uh, in in this video is because I see that aquarium cup have actually a common goldfish with um, Silver dollars, a Bashir or a biker or whatever. It's a crazy biker! Ah! But yeah, with uh, several species of uh, odd fish, including a German blue ram. And I know for sure that uh, German blue ram are uh, one of my favorite fish. Actually, that sentence just didn't make any sense. I know for sure. I love rams. Yeah. Um, but German blue rams seems to be like really picky on water condition. Uh, but I know that there is other species of rams, for example, Bol Bolivian rams. Um, that Chris One uh, BXL really <laughs> suggests me uh, quite a lot. And I look at that fish; it looks nice. Uh, but I don't think it could go with uh, goldfish but I'm just going to say it that way is there any type of rams that could go in subtropical water so in the low 70s uh, Fahrenheit you know or any uh, apistos or any dwarf cichlids so I'm just going to straight up say there is, is there any dwarf cichlids that uh, can survive first of all in the water of goldfish uh, that aren't aggressive uh, towards goldfish and that yeah basically that is the only two uh, question I have to ask because dwarf cichlids are usually too big to get eat by goldfish I just realized that's ghost and that's RP <laughs> that's funny um, but yeah basically uh, and yeah I put some Halloween decoration that's the um, half time of this video I guess um, so yeah we speak about the uh, dwarf cichlids my next question is is there any rainbow fish I'm I'm really looking to, uh, forward for um, dwarf rainbow fish uh, I don't particularly look forward to get dwarf uh, sorry not dwarf but uh, to look rainbow fish in particular uh, I, I just, you know, it's not my favorite type of fish, but they do have quite a lot of colors and they do display quite a lot of activity like Daniels. So, yeah, um, having a few dwarf, uh, sorry, having a few rainbow fish. I don't know why I say dwarf all the time because I was talking about the dwarf rainbow fish. Uh, but yeah, is there any species of rainbow fish that could go in the same temperature as goldfish? I'm just putting that uh, in. In uh, I really don't know a lot about uh, rainbow fish. I know they are kind of costly depending on the species, but is there any that I could possibly put with goldfish? I mean, if I see some rainbow fish and I want to do an instant by you know just buying them and just don't have regret to see them die two days ago uh, if they can survive in the low 70s yeah definitely going to look forward for rainbow fish even though they aren't really my favorite fish it's m it's really just have to do with the body shape I, I mean I love the body shape the torpedo shape with uh, most of the fish and yeah basically rainbow fish they have like a weird body um, shape that I don't necessarily like but they are basically just big daniels so 
and they have much more colors than Daniels. Uh, but I mean, if that doesn't work, uh, there is still the uh, giant Danio that really just is a giant Danio, <laughs> like the the name says, but with um, kind of the. It just looked like a mix of a Danio and a rainbow fish. And uh, that fish does well in the same water as goldfish. So I know I at least have that choice. But um, yeah, is there any more uh, rainbow fish that I could try? Um, I don't have a lot of hope uh, for that fish. But, uh, you know, it could be cool. Um, another fish that I know kind of doesn't do, you know, the, this, this video is just really just random fish that I want to uh, have some advice, so could it work, you know? Uh, not necessarily the typical fish uh, in subtropical uh, lists and everything, but hey, if a fish can survive in 70s and the low 70s, they're a good candidate. So another fish is uh, the glass fish. I really don't think that fish could go well with goldfish and with um, in a community aquarium because basically they uh, seems to just like to hide a lot and they need uh, they seems to be really picky toward food, so they don't eat food once it sink and I think that could cause. A huge problem especially with goldfish and all the smaller fish that would just bring too much competition but you know I'm doing could it work videos just for uh, quick answers so if I'm not doing something someone else might try it um, instead of me what are you doing what are you eating ghost <laughs> oh I guess it's a salad let's explain why they are munching let's just count the Daniels are right. Everyone is here. Um, well, uh, another fish um, that I wanted to know some answers about is uh, silver dollars. Um, once again, I've seen silver dollars with goldfish in the uh, aquarium cup aquarium. Um, and he say uh, his silver dollars are eight years old, and his common goldfish is one year old. So I mean, uh, I'm really not sure about silver dollars with goldfish, but um, he's not the only one who said that uh, it could be possible. And he really just his aquarium is a living uh, proof that it can happen. Uh, but is it recommended? I mean, n no fish is really recommended to put with goldfish anyway. I'm doing the could it work video just to like kind of myth bust and just look which fish do with the better with goldfish. Um, so silver dollars, an interesting choice. I'm really not sure about uh, the aquarium size they need because I did a lot of research and well, a lot of research. I check out a few um, source, and it re really uh, have quite a lot of uh, weird um, variable. So, in one source, it say forty gallon. In another, in another, sorry, it says sixty gallon. Another, wow, well, so in another. It says uh, 75 gallon and uh, moving forward for a bigger and bigger aquarium. So since I have uh, in the future I'm only uh, going to have like a 40 gallon. So a 4 foot long uh, aquarium. I'm really not sure I do have the space necessary for silver, do silver dollars yet. Uh, let alone if they could do well in the community setup I want to uh, create. But I have de definitely see that, uh, at least in uh, Aquarium Cup videos. Um, and you know, so, uh, he have pretty much the same temp uh, water temperature as my aquarium. Um, so... 
yeah, if his silver dollars are eight years old, I mean, I don't think it's that much of a problem to put them with a goldfish. Um, I mean, they, they definitely have a long life. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it uh, there. So I really hope Aquarium Cop can uh, give me some advice as well as other people that kept uh, all those fish. And um, let's see. Oh yeah, um, so catfish. What type of catfish, uh, except obviously uh, the good old um, Corridoras, but what type of bigger catfish that I could put with goldfish? And could it work? I'm really interested into the stripe uh, Raphael and the uh, Pectus catfish. So you know, fish that doesn't get massive, but that kind of are big, bigger than curry cats. Because I'm tired of only seeing curry cats. I really love uh, catfish in general, and I'm tired of only having like one species of catfish. Uh, I mean, I could try with loaches, like dojo loach, um, that could be neat, uh, but having more bottom dwellers really could be nice, but uh, I'm not sure about um, what type to choose and what could work, actually. Um, another um, fish that could work ooh, uh, that might work and I need advice um, yeah pretty much uh, ask everything I think um, if there is any more uh, so yeah basically for this video it was all just oddball uh, because I'm looking for more uh, or less like um, solitary fish and uh, for example, like uh, dwarf cichlids, you know, just one or two of uh, those fish could be really neat. Um, because basically I really love a lot of schooling fish, but uh, having a few like bigger solitary fish um, could be really good. Uh, so when I ask about the paradise fish, for example, um, some people say, oh yeah, go, ha go ahead. Uh, it could be good and other people said uh, they are aggressive so it must be like a beta in a community aquarium so sometimes you're lucky sometimes you aren't uh, so yeah basically and same goes for other species of garamis so for those fish I really have to be careful but is there any more uh, species of fish that could go with goldfish that are really easy to find really hardy fish really nice fish uh, I'm more looking for solitary fish rather than schooling fish at this point because I really discuss a lot uh, for school and small schooling fish I mean I have a lot of barbs and tetras and everything um, in my Could It Work playlist. Make sure to check it out. Um, oh yeah, snails. I have hard water, um, so could snail work well? Like um, one or two mystery snail or nirate snail, I guess. Uh, could it work with goldfish? Anyway, that's pretty much all the oddball fish I wanted to know. Uh, those are fish that I didn't really did a lot of research on, I must admit. Uh, but fish that could go well. Oh yeah, yeah, La last but not least. And I know it might sound ridiculous, but angelfish with goldfish. Yeah, I know it sounds ridiculous. Um, but does anyone had try it? Um, yeah, basically I'm not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> but... In the same time, could it work? Did you have experience with goldfish and angelfish? Um, but yeah, no. No, no. I'm not going to put an angelfish with my goldfish. Uh, that seems too extreme. Uh, angelfish are tropical fish. No GM. You will have them later in your life. Uh, but yeah, li leave a like. Uh, comment, subscribe on my channel uh, if you haven't already. 
Uh, no hate on this video. This video is really strictly just to say, all right, well, I have a few fish. I'm, I don't have a lot of research on them. Could it work or not? I'm pretty positive none of them could work or could be recommended, except for the silver dollars. Um, but yeah, um, please uh, be gentle, by the way. <laughs> Uh, this video is more just like a, um, alright, well, those weird fish might be hardy enough. Do you think it could work? Uh, I'm not recommended in any way to put any of those fish uh, with goldfish yet, because I never tried it. Um, so I cannot know for sure. But yeah, leave a like and uh, a comment on this video, and yeah, see you all real soon. By the way, yeah, but uh, basically all the fish I listed today for this video weren't fish that I uh, I've seen in subtropical uh, list. So yeah, I'm just throwing some names of fish, and if you think they could, uh, well, I'm not saying I'm going to get them, but you know someone else might get inspired by what I just say and make sure to check out Aquarium Cup uh, videos they're really great and yeah thanks a lot for watching see you all real soon um, yeah we are getting close to Halloween so happy Halloween sorry I just sounded uh, a lot like uh, The Bachelor <laughs> outro like he's like happy fish keeping I love his outro actually, but yeah. Come on, that we will end the video with ghosts. Bye!